What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now I've just filmed a video of doing tank maintenance on all my tanks today, Sunday. Um, and yeah, I've been doing all the tanks, FX6 cleans, uh, water changes, etc, etc. But anyway, I thought I'd just show you the snakeheads because we haven't actually showed you the snakeheads for ages. Um, I've just turned the light on in their tank, so let me show you how they're doing. So here's the snakehead tank. It is about, I think it's 300 litres, something like that. It's quite a biggest sort of tank. Um, it's got two golden cobra snakeheads. There's one of them just in the newbies here. I don't know if you can see his head hanging out. And the other guy is probably over by there. He's over by the wood over there. So I've got two golden cobra snakeheads in here. I've got some Congo tetras living with them, which are doing absolutely fine. Um, there are some bristlenose plecos. There is a albino um, bristlenose there, male, which is he's actually getting quite big. There's another one around the side here but yeah it's just been really hard actually filming the snakers here comes one of them now so it's really hard actually filming these guys they are having a little bit of a tear up here and there as you can see the one at the back's um been getting nipped by probably this guy in the anubius here because he is bigger than that one i've just got to go and quickly turn the water off on this tank before i actually flood my whole fish room so bear with me two minutes So that's that done, I've just um, took the pipe out of there, so there's no water gonna flood my house now, well, my fish room. But yeah, the snakeheads are doing absolutely fine, but like I said, they are having a little bit of a scrap every now and then. I think the one in the Anubius, you can just see him, is a bit more territorial than the guy at the back, so I have to keep an eye on that. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I've got a male and male. I might have a male and female, I might have the other way around. So um, yeah, they seem to be doing fine though, so apart from that, um, they are feeding. But it's quite nice actually seeing this guy come out. This is this is um, the smaller one. So you can see a little bit of damage on the back of him there. But I don't know if this is normal snakeheads. A lot of people said to me, oh, you're a lot mad keeping two of them together because uh, you don't know how well they're gonna get on. But it's a shame this one's not coming out because he, um, he is a real cool, beautiful fish. And obviously I've got the Congo Tetras here. There's loads of them at the back, just chilling out. They've done absolutely fine with the snakeheads. So I've got the temperature set to about 24 now. I'll sort of raise it up because obviously spring's coming now. So they was down to about, I think I had it about 18 at one point. So in the winter. So now I'm raising the temperature back up again because a lot of people said to me, you need to do it with the Golden Cobras because they are uh, subtropical fish. So I've done all that, I've done, um, done it all by the book if that makes sense. But um, yeah, here's one of them at the back, it's so cool. I love these fish, man. I can't wait till they're um, like real big. But I really want to get this guy out here, but he's just not really doing a lot. Can you just, just about see him in the Anubis there? But yeah, it's a real simple setup. It's obviously just a tank with a heater. Um, it's got a 407 canister filter in it, which is in there, which I've actually just cleaned out. Um, an air pump, they probably don't even need an air pump, but I've put one in there anyway. Um, what else is going on? There is a fluval plant light at the top there, but um, I need to get them a bigger tank eventually, because obviously they're gonna outgrow this tank soon. But I don't really know too much about them. It's the first time I've ever kept snakeheads. There's, I didn't realize how much choice there was with snakeheads. There's so much choice. You know, some of them are subtropical, some of them are tropical fish. You know, um, they, they do one called a barker, which is like, um, really expensive but the colors on it are absolutely stunning and um, so maybe in the future i might look at getting one of them because i'm, I'm mad on my uh predatory colorful fish you know especially with my arowanas and stuff but yeah it's a shame i can't really get this guy out for you he's sort of just chilling out not doing a lot obviously i have done a water change so he's probably just a bit a little bit annoyed about that but at least one of them's out the back but if you have kept snakers before golden cobras is this normal? They, yes, they should be picking at each other like this, or should I split them up? But yeah, what I've been feeding them, I've just been feeding them Hikari pellet really. So I've just got pellets, um, sinking pellets, floating pellets, they're going mad for them. Um, I chucked in a couple of bits of white bait last night, which they ate as well. But I really would like to start um, feeding them like their natural um, foods, you know, like in the wild they eat like bugs off the top and things like that. So I might look into getting a few like crickets and things like that, because um, I do think they need it in their diet. But um, I do really need some help with these guys, really, because um, it's the first time, like I said, it's the first time I've kept them. You can see that one going out for air. First time I've kept them, and um, I don't really know a lot about them. I'm doing okay with them, don't get me wrong, but um, I don't feel like they're thriving with me. You know, I really want to get them out all the time, uh, really interacting with me like my arowanas, or do they not really do that, do that sort of thing, the snakeheads? Are they completely different sort of fish? 
they're sort of a bit more docile and they sort of chill out at the bottom and stuff, you know. But um, let me know in the comments below if you are keeping golden cobras and um, know a fair bit about them because I don't know a lot about them, I'll be honest with you. But um, I really do love keeping these fish, they are stunning fish. But anyway guys, I don't really know what to say else about this, it's just a quick video today. I've just grabbed the camera, it was um, in the fish room and I thought I'd quickly show the snakeheads while they're out, you know. But um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, as always, like and subscribe to my channel, ding the notification bell and uh, keep it real everyone.